This is one of the example of spectral reflectance curve. Here you can clearly see that how different land cover type we have in the different wavelength. And this is the reflectance value in y-axis. Of course, uh, our eye can see only the RGB color space, but def definitely there will be like NIR and SWIR band based on which we do loss of land use land cover uh, kind of analysis. Basically, you can generate this kind of curve in Google Earth Engine. Uh, it's quite easy. You can simply generate it based on like Landsat data set or Sentinel data set or even uh, whatever data set you are interested in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate the, that kind of spectral reflectance curve in Google Earth Engine using these three easy steps. Make sure you watch till the end so that you will get the idea of like how to generate the graph. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first of all, we need to select the area of interest. For, uh, for me, I'm going to select the, create the area of interest somewhere here. Maybe I'll simply draw the rectangle. Feel free to draw based on your area of interest. And here I'm going to change these to AOI and then these to feature collection. And then import it. Once you're done, you'll see the AOI in the top bar. Now the other step is to load the imagery of your type, right? For me, I'm interested in Landsat 8. So let me load this Landsat 8 imagery. So basically I can import this imagery and then write ls8 that means landsat8 okay and after that i'm going to filter out this imagery based on my requirement so for that maybe i'll write part data set equal to ls8 and then i'll write dot and then i'll copy and paste few line of code and here i'm basically filtering based on date first so I'm selecting uh, 2013 year from 10, 1 to 12, 30. And of course, you can check the availability of this imagery. Of course, Landsat 8, this one, this particular one is available from 2013, 318 to the present date. And the other thing is I'm also going to filter based on cloud coverage which uh, you will see in the next line. So I'm here filtering based on cloud coverage less than 5%. LT means less than, right? And then here I'm filtering my bound to area of interest and definitely I'll change this to the AOI. And then I'm mapping over all the image collection and then clipping it to, the, to my area of interest, right? And uh, yeah, that's all about the first thing and now the other thing is i'm going to calculate the median image or feel free to calculate any of the uh, statistic statistics for example here you can create mode or uh, max or whatever you want but or mean so but for me i'm calculating median and now I'm trying to visualize it uh, with my like map visualizer tool. So basically for that map dot add layer. And for now I won't pass anything. And then I'll uh, write it as RGB image. And let me close this and hit run. And after that you'll see the image, but it's quite dark. So for uh, we can actually fix this property. So for the landscape, actually we have to select band four and three and then two. This is the RGB color composite. And then uh, for the range, I'm going to stretch out it based on 98 percentile and then hit apply. And of course you can import this and then this parameter is your image visualization parameter so you can copy and paste that over here so that uh, even you run a, run the cell again 
then you will get the same similar kind of interface over here and now the other step is based on like uh, the creating sample points for spectral reflectance curve right depending on your land cover types for example here i might be interested uh, first in water and then base station so here you can create those uh, properties for example i'm interested in water and then i'll import it as a feature and then add the property named as label and then write water right so make sure you write this property uh, and then the value as well so that we can simply generate the graph and then label that based on our value and here uh, the other step is simply you just need to like uh, add the points on the water so for example these are few points and i'm going to like add these points like this like this and then uh, make sure you add all the waters water surface for example in my particular area of interest i have only river if you have lake as well you you need to like uh, get the sample from lake as well right or you need to create the other uh, other land cover type is lake water or something right and uh, normally i take around like 20 points but for now for this demo let's uh, treat only seven points right let's take only seven points and another one could be vegetation and then as i said before feature label and then vegetation right and then now you need to like zoom in more closely and then create the points for base station right don't worry about this marker colors so these are just the like random colors but later on for the curve i think we can fix that so for example yeah these are some of the base station right and now the other thing you could do is also you can like categorize sand for example i'm going to add another property named a sand and then feature and don't forget to write your label and then hit enter and this high reflectance value is for sand right all right so similarly you can do for the rest of the classes for example i have base station sand water build up agriculture land bear land cloud and cloud right so i have here around seven different classes so basically based on seven different land cover type i uh, i created few random points uh, based on that seven different uh, location seven different classes right and um, i hope you can also like follow this step and after that now the final step is to generate the graph based on mean value of each land cover type right so for that we are selecting the subset of our imagery and from our image uh, i'm selecting basically band two to seven so rgb is four three two and then nir and swir one and two so basically those are the bands i am interested in right uh, and after that so basically i'm here like selecting samples so basically i'm trying to create the feature collection based on each feature these all are like multi-point uh features right it's single feature with multiple points and uh, here I'm creating the feature collection from those like uh, just created random points based on my classes right such as base station built up agriculture bear land water sand and cloud right and after that now the final step is to create the uh, line chart so in order to create line chart so we first define the plot options of course we have title horizontal axis and vertical axis in the title we have lancet 8 reflectance uh, surface reflectance uh, spectral value 
and then in the title it's wavelength and then the uh, vertical axis it's the reflectance value and line width point size these are the uh, some of the optional parameter and then uh, the curve type we treat it as a function so that it will be more smoother and then in the series of course we have different um, classes and then different colors for those right and uh, when we take the wavelength based on a uh, bands from 2 to 7 so this is the wavelength uh, basically this is the wavelength of red color and then this is green and this is blue feel free to like write based instead of like wavelength you can write like this as well w wavelengths and then you can write b2 this is band 2 right b3 and b4 and so on right instead of like writing the actual band wavelength you can write the uh, actual band name as well and in that case you can rename this horizontal axis title to band name or whatever you want right uh, but for now uh, i'll go with the wavelength and then uh, when we try to create the chart so we are going to use the ui chart image dot regions function and if you are unsure about any of this method then you can search here and uh, here is the function that we are using and the first parameter will be image regions and reducer scale series properties and x level right so our image is the subset and our actual points will be the sample and then we are taking the mean value based on those all samples and it's 30 meter resolution uh, and then we are going to generate this graph based on the label so so the label which is we in all classes we create this property called label right this is what it mean and then uh, our x-axis will be the wavelength right and then it's the type of like line chart and then uh, set option we are setting the same option for like color and then title right and if you do that and then if you try to print the chart then of course you will see the spectral reflectance curve based on this function so you can always open this in the uh, bigger window and this is your spectral reflectance curve based on like uh, lancet 8 imagery and here you can clearly see that in for the base station the reflectance value from like red band is lowest and then the nir band is the highest right and then uh, for the water actually blue is the highest that's why we see a blue color for like uh, for for rivers and then uh, it's significantly like going down and down right and then for for example for the sand and cloud we have high reflectance value in uh, red or nir or swir band that's why it looks bright in image and this is the overall like land surface reflectance value or surface reflectance curve based on uh, my area of interest and similarly you can generate the spectral reflectance curve for any imagery or uh, any of your uh, area of interest so yeah i hope it's helpful and i'll see you in the next thank you for watching